Dita, I'm very excited that you're doing five minutes with. Me too. Well, let's have fun, shall okay. we? Okay. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. And an extra. No. Okay, shall we start? How would you describe what you do? Uh, I am a burlesque performer. That's usually a striptease artist. I was going to say, is there a difference between burlesque and stripping? No, um, not really. <laughs> well, more feathers, more rhinestones. Um, you know, obviously there's a big history of what burlesque is, but I still like the word stripper. I still believe that strippers were the performers in a burlesque show. That's the facts. Did you start off as a sort of stripper in the most conventional sense of the word? I wouldn't say that because I was wearing, I was always styling myself in retro style. And then I started working in a strip club and making my show. And then finally I wanted to know more about the history of stripping because I was in this place. I want to know why the brass pole was there. Uh, so I got into the like history of striptease and that's how I arrived to start performing burlesque. Is it right that you, as a teenager, for a while worked in a lingerie store? That is right. I started working in a lingerie store when I was about, I think, 15. I worked in the pizza place next door and I fantasized about working in the lingerie store, so I kept bugging them until they gave me a job. How often are you looking like this? I mean, do you ever <laughs> wear jeans and a t-shirt? No, I don't have like an alter ego. This is like the real me. I don't have a team of stylists and hair and makeup people. This is my real look every day. Does it take you a long time to get ready? Um, not really. I mean, I don't always, like, I'm turned up to, like, you know, 80% power today. So I don't do, like, I have, like, a, a glamour percentage dial that goes, you know, you know, some days it takes me five minutes, and that's when I'm turned down to, like, a 20%. I want to know how fit you have to be to do what you do. I have to be pretty fit, not just because I lo to look good in a G-string, but also... My costumes are covered in Swarovski crystal and they get quite heavy, so I have to be strong to be able to carry the weight. So how do you achieve that? Do you go to the gym? How does it work? I do a lot of Pilates and take ballet classes. And that's it. And in terms of the routine, what are you trying to achieve with your routines? I am trying to change people's minds about what it is to be a stripper. I'm trying to remind people of a time when striptease stars were mainstream stars and they did something that was risque combined with the elegant and sophisticated. And how many hours a day do you have to practice? Um, I wouldn't say that I practice on a daily basis. There's just uh, there's a lot of different elements that come into play to make the show what it is in the end so I kind of go into rehearsal a few days before an important show. Was it a big decision for you to pose for Playboy? No. I had, um, when I was on the cover of Playboy, I had been in these uh, newsstand special magazines uh, for a few years, and so when I was offered the cover after Hugh Hefner saw my show, I, I, I immediately accepted. What would you say if someone said or described you as an anti-feminist? Um, I would say they probably should do a little more research about me and who my fans are because my fan base is primarily comprised of women who, uh, you know, have, they like having a different kind of role model. It's a kind of glamour as a beauty that can be created. So I, I have a real strong female fan base. So it kind of like gets rid of that anti-feminist argument. What sort of background do you come from? Uh, I come from a small farming town in Michigan, you know, middle class family. So what's it like living your life, to some extent, in the public eye? How do you cope with that? Do you enjoy it? Uh, sometimes I enjoy it. You take the good with the bad, you know, ups and downs. And you live some of the time in Paris. Mm -hmm. How did you come to live in Paris? Um, I have a lot of friends in the city, and I always fantasized about living in a different place. I was a little bit down on um, living in Los Angeles for a while, and I think I had to go to Paris to really appreciate things we have in America, too. So I like the balance. You're going on tour in America. Mm -hmm. Can that be exhausting, do you think? Have you been I'm, on a big tour before? I've never been on a big tour like this. I'm really going to be pushing myself, but I'm excited to finally have all of my biggest production numbers in one full-length review, so I'm really excited. I'm excited about like fine-tuning everything and working with a really great group of performers. How many times might you perform in a week? Probably like five days a week, five, six days a week. Do you get to have fun as well? It's always fun. My show is always fun. I, it's... It never seems like work. And outside of work, what do you do? 
Um, I like to go, I like to drive my vintage cars. I like to go flea marketing. Oh, Am I allowed to ask you whether you've had breast implants? Difficult question, <laughs> is it? Oh, I think the time is <laughs> almost up. It is um, up. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Me too.